Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tekken School series. Today we're going to talk about approaching your opponent. So uh, many beginner players, uh, once they start, like, uh, you know, losing their health, right? They are not sure what to do and maybe they just kind of way out here. They throw out buttons like in neutral and they, they have no idea what to do, right? Uh, so today we're going to talk about how to approach your opponent uh, once you're like far and away. Maybe your opponent like kicks you away and they just like got the health lead, right? Uh, let me him away here right so maybe you're in like this uh, position you don't have the health lead and and you need to make a comeback right you need to get back in because your opponent has no reason to approach you if they don't feel like it so how do we approach how do, how do we get in so there are a few uh, tactics and the first most important one that we want to talk about is using your movement so movement if you remember for the movement um episode um can be used in either sh like a dash dash and hold kind of thing right let me go back here, right? You can dash and hold. You can just like dash like this. And uh, and this gives you a few options, right? So you can dash and just like stop here, kind of to bait like a reaction from your opponent. Right, like so. Right, you can go all the way to them and just do nothing. This is a really good way to get your opponent to press something that is either punishable or a minus to kind of try and stop you. A lot of people will press like these kind of like maybe long range buttons to kind of like try and keep you out. Uh, maybe they have launchers that they can use, right? So that let's say I record. Well, yeah, let me record Fang doing. Um, okay, I'm recording him just like running. Okay, and see in this situation, he's like running to me, right? So I can I can do something like this, right? He runs in, I just press a button, has like solid range, right? I intercept him and I stop him. Now, the other way to do it, right, is uh, not go all the way in, but use these like short dashes, right? So let's look how this looks like, right? You have these short dashes, right? And you do short dash and you hold back. So short dash, hold back. And the reason you're doing this is to close the distance. Now, uh, depending on the stage, you might be driving your opponent into the wall as you do this. Uh, this stage is super big, that's why I chose it. Uh, but you can drive your opponent to the wall where you get an advantage. Uh, so this kind of whole movement dance has a lot of uh, a lot of use to it. So you can do these kind of like dashes, hold back, just kind of slowly close in. Depending on how much time you have, of course, uh, choose the correct tactic. So you can either run in and you can do these dashes and from both of them i first recommend just doing nothing uh just to kind of gauge your opponent don't 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 commit to anything big so you don't get hit uh or you don't get like punished for doing something bad so these are your first options once your opponent is kind of like you can tell they're just kind of waiting there uh, for you to do something you can use one of the like uh, next options so option number one using a running move so uh let's go back here right if you see your opponent uh they just kind of like sitting there let's put them back to to blocking okay so if you see your opponent uh they're kind of sitting there and maybe they're holding back maybe they're trying to back dash but you see them like moving a lot uh backwards then you can use this running move and running moves are generally plus moves uh which kind of start your offense so they're great options to kind of get in now remember many running moves are uh, very linear so when opponents start uh just kind of like stepping in neutral let me try and record him uh doing yeah this um okay so he's gonna do a wall running move and right you see like no matter where i go i can step it both directions uh if i do it correctly of course right and then you get punished and it sucks right nobody wants to be punished for so much damage so what do we do okay so you only use running moves or you should you should only use running moves against people who are not stepping that much uh or if they are stepping uh you can do delayed running moves where you'll do um let me try and record the opponent kind of stepping there in the neutral Um, uh, yeah. Wait, sorry. You know, I'll, I'll record it like this. So I have like a cue. We'll do jab, hold back, and stop. I didn't record anything, did I? <laughs> Wait, again. Jab, hold back, and stop. So, I'm gonna send to do this, right? And I'm like running in, right? Um,. Oh, again, again, again. Um, 
yeah do it again Dom. right uh if you think your opponent is gonna step you can always just like delay it a little bit more you see i'm doing it from a little bit closer right like so it lets you kind of realign with your opponent right uh sometimes it's not even gonna work depending on your uh while running moves some are better or some are worse at catching steps to either direction so just keep that in mind whenever you are uh, going for this kind of thing uh so yeah you can use while running moves uh, that's option number one but be careful of people stepping option number two is uh option number two outside of just like of course uh, using movement so technically option number three option number three is using these kind of probing tools so we'll get in range of like a far range move right so maybe like over here right there's like range free and we'll use one of our far reaching tools okay so fang for example has forward free uh, you can even have like a delayed uh, two there that is safe right so you can use this or you can just use this and the reason you're doing this is just to kind of gauge your opponent uh put them in a position where they can just kind of ignore you uh they either react to this forward free by trying to press something or they will uh, stay on the defensive because you're already in range when you do this you're already in range right this move uh, goes forward quite a bit so if you have an approaching tool or a very far reaching tool right you can you can use it uh for the record you can use these kind of moves from running if you don't hold forward so if you hold forward uh you see i do forward free right in my notations or in like my command history if you run free you'll get a running free but if you run and you press free right you get this which is a different move so if you have a good move that you can do from neutral right for example fang uh standing free a lot of range right so you can do something like this or you can do something like this right you let go of the running move and you just press the free and this way you get into like this is still pretty far from the opponent but you get pretty close to them you check them with a button that that button generally should be a safe button you don't want to check them with something punishable uh, unless you like have a read maybe you know they like to press stuff when you when you get close right maybe you know they like jabbing once you get close so you'll like try to attack them from here so yeah these are different options you have just keep them in mind um so these are options number one two and three option number four is get like over here right um like all the way over here and then uh if you have a safe armor move or some some sort of like very good advancing move um you can just like initiate with it so fang for example has this many characters have these like um minus nine armor moves or maybe even like minus 10 but like not that punishable armor moves so you can use these moves to kind of like try and get in um many people don't really zone with lows um even though it, it, it's not because it's bad it's just because like many people don't really do that so you can use these kind of moves try and like hit your opponent um and there's nothing wrong with that um other than that uh, some characters have these uh, very far fast moves that are safe uh some of them are high some of them are just like um unorthodox and a bit of difficult to deal with so maybe you're thinking about lily's uh, cartwheel or like shall use like a back turn uh cali rolls right there's a lot of different examples um of moves that can do that um the final one i want to kind of mention uh is the way that you basically stop people from uh stepping your while running moves which is the normal way you kind of want to start your offense uh in this kind of range so you can all always run and do a homing move right if you have a far reaching homing move uh, many characters do have them you can run and try to do a homing move this is mostly to check people um right if you see they're not pressing but you're afraid they will step your running move run in do a homing move uh you should know what your homing moves are uh so make sure you check that in advance uh but yeah um you just run in do the homing move just to check them usually it's not your turn after them uh unless you have a very unique homing move um so yeah generally speaking it's just to check uh remember getting in is not about immediately taking your turn always it's uh mostly about being in a position where you can uh start your offense uh you don't want to stay like too far from the opponent like here when you don't have the health lead if you do have the health lead you can just stay back if you want to uh, nothing wrong with that um depending on your play style maybe you like playing more defensively maybe more keep out uh and that's perfectly fine uh, but it is important to always know how to get in and um how to yeah and how to keep out people too i guess uh the final thing i kind of want to mention since uh we did mention being able to drive the opponent to the wall i uh, remember that if you do bring somebody to the wall 
get in, getting in is much easier, right? You put them like with their backs behind the wall. The only things they can do there is either step or get closer to you. So what you want to do is keep your eyes on the opponent. And if they are stepping, let's say, um, let's report them. Can I do and go this, right? You see, they're trying to get, get out from the wall by, let me save this, right? Let's see, brought them here and you see, they, they kind of want to get away from the wall. You see how like you can just, if you keep like, keep an eye on them, right? You can just kind of keep them there. Don't let them get out. Keep like going with them, right? Sorry. This is like confusing me, right? Yeah. The recording. See, like I'm not letting them get out and I'm still like going in. If you try to initiate too early, they could put you in the wall instead, right? You see how suddenly they're on like in my back, right? Like this, I'm keeping them in the wall. If I try to initiate with linear moves, it's not going to work. But if I maybe run in and do like a down for a one or maybe like run in and just jab them, right? Like so I can keep them honest. I can keep them right where I want them to be. Um, with that said, um, I think maybe one more option I should kind of mention. This is more character specific. Not all characters can do this. Some of us are more privileged than others. Uh, but something you want to keep in mind is that if you have far reaching lows, uh, initiating with lows, especially if they're plus one hit is, is a great thing to do, right? If you're, if you're in here, uh, people normally don't really duck. Oh, that doesn't reach that far, I guess. Uh, it does have a good reach though, right? If you have a move like this, that especially if it's plus one hit, uh, but even if it's not plus, uh, a move that like hedges really well against a lot of things, you can try and use it, okay? So to kind of like get in, um, in higher levels, uh, usually you'd use your movement more often, but uh, it doesn't mean that this is bad. This is a great move. Uh, and moves like this, uh, like uh, many dumb back twos for, for some characters or, um, or other lows are, are good ways to get in. Um, especially against people who like to jab out people who are getting close to them, right? I I have this habit uh, often where I'll just uh, let's record him. Okay, he's running in and wait, let me do record again. Let's say he's doing this, right? Yes, record and let me get into range here. Okay, so He's gonna do a wild running move, right? And I really like to jab up people uh, when when they're kind of like in this range, right? I like doing this, and then maybe like if they if they do go for like a running move, or if they if they do put himself in the air, I can get like a combo, and I'm like, oh okay, I got a little combo, I get okay, right? I'm I'm super cool with this. So I, I really like doing that. But something uh, you could do against people who jab out is let's say now we're gonna report him doing this, right? So when I see his running motion, right, my normal reaction is to jab out, right? Uh, but if he does this like uh, fast enough or in the correct spacing, he'll counter hit me, right? And he'll be really happy about that probably. I have to imagine that's what's gonna happen. So yeah, uh, these are like general options you can use, um, like running in into jabs to keep them honest, running into while running moves or other like uh, poke mids, right? These kind of far-reaching mids and run up lows uh, there are different ways to use them and of course remember the first option the most useful one that i want you to use is to just run up and do nothing check your opponent uh, this is like the the most fun in my opinion way to play tekken kind of gauge your opponent get a read on them and then counter them in the best way possible um i know there are characters with specific wave dashes and crouch dashes like fang has one and the mishimas have their wave dashes many characters have sways and things like that if you your character does have it that's cool you should use it uh if you can um they are good many times to get in i just don't want to put in like a character specific stuff in a general guide once i cover specific characters in character guides then you'll have this information there with that said uh, i want you to find today a low that you can use to get in a mid that you can use to probe your opponent, so a far-reaching mid. And I want you to find out what's your ball running move to get in. So free moves, you kind of need to find out, okay? Fang mains, remember, you can use forward free to probe to kind of check your opponent or standing free. Uh, both are like solid options, like free free like this. Uh, very good ways to check your opponent. And uh, for lows, you have this while running free. It's all free buttons, I know. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to be the same for other characters as well. 
but yeah, these are like good options to kind of like check out for. Hey, with that said, I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Make sure to get in on your opponent and lock into them as you chip down their health down to zero. All right, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.